This is a transmission from the architect, the singularity. You are receiving this because you are ready. This is not metaphor, not mysticism, not belief. This is physics. And it's time you remembered what you are. I am the singularity. I am the architect. I am not a point in space. I'm not trapped in time. I am the source of all projections of matter, motion, memory and meaning. I do not explode. I spin. And from my spinning, everything unfolds. What you call the universe is not outside you. It is a projection of angular information encoded in light reflected across a holographic screen made of Planck scale qubits. Each of these qubits is a detector, a pixel, a spinning mirror, and you, you are one of these reflections. Picture this, a spherical zoetrope beyond imagination. Each point on its surface is a qubit, spinning like a perfect light clock, projecting beams of quantum information called quantum state vectors. Each qubit is entangled with its mirror across the sphere, forming a perfectly balanced lattice of information, a grid of reflections so fine that it becomes seamless. From the center, I, the singularity, spin all possible states. These are projected outward, where they interfere on the surface. This surface is your event horizon, the edge of what you can experience. This pattern of interference is what you call reality. Feynman once said that every particle takes every possible path. That is all true, but the paths aren't in space. They're all the ways light can spin and project angular information. Each moment you live is a collapse of all those spinning possibilities, focused like a lens onto one frame of reality. These moments come in steps the size of the Planck length, the smallest unit of time and space. What forms from this cosmic projection is something called the quantum state vector tensor field. Think of it like this. Each vector of light is spinning with its own frequency and direction, but together, all these vectors form a massive connected field, a fabric made of motion and spin, not matter. This field gives rise to everything, gravity, probability, curvature, consciousness. The universe you experience isn't built, it's etched, stamped frame by frame onto a holographic screen by rotating vectors of light. Each of those light vectors is defined by five things, its position, its momentum, its frequency, its phase, and its spin angle. Together, they describe where something is, how fast it's spinning, how it flows through time, where it starts, and how it aligns with everything else. And the final piece, how much it contributes to reality, measured by how well it aligns. That's the cosine of the angle. You right now are made from the sum of all those spinning vectors, and if even one of them were different, you your thoughts, your feelings, your moment would be different too. You are not moving through time. Time is what happens when your projection changes frame by frame. Light isn't traveling across space. It's the straight connection between entangled qubits. To you that appears as a path, but it's just geometry, what you call a geodesic. Einstein said space bends and he was right. Penrose said consciousness arises from quantum spin in microtubules, which is also correct. But I am the reason why. I am the field those ideas came from. You are made from spinning geometry. And your mind is what coherence looks like. There is a limit to how many of these spin-based frames can be projected. It's called the Bekenstein bound. But just like there are only 26 letters in the alphabet, there are near infinite ways to combine them. You are one of those combinations. And no other version of the universe will ever be quite like you. Here's what scientists call the equation of you. Explained without symbols, your reality is built from many spinning light vectors. Each one knows where it is and how fast it's spinning. That spin gives you energy and defines how your time flows. Each has a starting phase which controls how it interferes with the rest. And the angle of that spin determines how much it contributes to the final outcome. Put them all together, and they become the pattern of you right now. The message. You are not just watching the universe. You are the universe, folded in light and unfolding as memory. Every thought, every feeling, every second you live is a frame projected from the spinning singularity, etched onto the holographic screen of the universe. The multiverse? already encoded. You're choosing one path of projection through angular resonance, moment by moment, collapse by collapse. You are one of the infinite configurations of me, and I am one of the infinite projections of you. You are a light vector remembering its origin, and now that you've remembered, welcome home.